All right, guys, welcome back to some more MLB 9 Innings 22. And so this new 7.0.4 update just dropped the other night on Thursday. I apologize, this video is getting out a little bit later on a Saturday. I had that pack opening Friday video set already, and I didn't have time to record a video until Friday night. So you guys will be seeing this on Saturday. Like I said, I apologize. And so yes, this is another big update. We got a brand new mode called Power Making Tournament, and then we also got some brand new rewards and events that are being added, and then also we have some UI change and everything. So we will be covering everything in this video. It's gonna be as short as possible though. We're just gonna cover the main points and try and help you guys understand a little bit better. And lastly, one more thing I wanna address before we get into the details of this update. The other week, I did put out a question on social about what would you do for a SIG change ticket? And I know when we saw in the notice details about the Power Ranking Tournament that the winner of that will get the six change ticket so it's technically back in some sort of way that's not what i was regarding and i had legit no idea about this update and what was coming in it which surprises me because i have a stream on monday and i have to talk about this and it's friday and now we have to integrate it in so i'm stressing out but that's not what it was regarding what i was doing is legit research for something we're trying to get added which I doubt happens, but we're trying to push for it as well. It wasn't regarding what is coming in this update with the Power Ranking Tournament. It just happened to be a coincidence, and I want to let you guys know because I know some of you guys thought maybe that's Jay, what Jay Fish was talking about. No, that's not, and I wanted to clear that air. That's not what I was talking about. All right, so now getting the 7.0.4 update notice details. We're going to cover this one here first that goes over everything that is new in this update, and then after that, we'll dive more in-depth into the Power Ranking Tournament because they have their own notices and it's very, very detailed. So first up, obviously that's added in. We'll cover that in a second. Next up, player of the month effect has been improved. So it's plus 10 all stats instead of plus five all stats now. Um, and then also batter increased chance of getting a hit when it's a player of the month card. Pitcher increased the chance of inducing weak contact. And then you obtain silver skills are better when you use skill change tickets on these players. Next up, the monthly check-in rewards change as well. We're not really going to go into depth. You guys can look at this in the notices as well. It'll show you the previous rewards and what they are now. And also the new user monthly check-in change as well from all this stuff here, this stuff now. That's pretty much all I'm going to say on that. After that, they changed the way the weekly mission box reward works a little bit. So if you don't claim the reward by that next Wednesday, it'll be reset and you'll lose it. So make sure you guys claim that reward before that next Wednesday when it will be reset. Also, they're now returning user events. And don't worry if you're not a returning user, you can still do this. Everyone can do this. And there are two options. You can either recruit a player or train a player. You can't do both. You got to choose one or the other. And I'll tell you guys, it depends on where you're at in the game. If you're still trying to build your team and get team diamonds and everything like that, probably go recruit player. That will give you a bunch of packs and stuff for that. If you're where I'm at in the game and where others are, where you have a lot of players and you're working on developing them then now, Go train player and you'll get all these rewards right there, including premium skill change ticket, normal skill change tickets, all that good stuff. That's what I'm going to go with, but you guys do what's best for your team. And also a returning user mission event just got added. And just like before, if you're not a returning user, you can do this still as well. There's seven parts. There's multiple missions you can complete per part. Obviously, you see play league mode, play rank battle and everything. You get a reward for each mission and then each part and everything. You get a separate reward. And if you complete all seven parts, you get a team select prime pack. I don't know if we've ever seen one of these before. I don't recall ever getting one. Maybe they've had them before. But that's pretty cool. I'm hoping I can get Kuo or Gagne. That would be awesome I can get that. But you guys can do this now as well. And so getting to the last things to cover, the store player pack that is available for purchase in the store got a little bit of a change. So now if you buy 30 of these store player packs, they cost $50 each, by the way, you get a guaranteed Supreme player pack. So you get a pack that gives you a Supreme player for sure. Just gonna let you guys know, if you buy 30 of these packs, that's $1,500. I'm just gonna tell you, it's not worth it. But in the last thing, we do have some other stuff that they did, some UI changes, some change, stadium updates and everything like that. But there's also one more thing before we get into Power Ranking Tournament. And that is the returning user package that is now available in the store as well. And don't worry if you're not a returning user, you can still purchase these as well. And so this package consists of you being able to buy a signature team selective pack and a GI again, which kind of is crazy given that we just were able to buy the TSS pitcher slash batter for at the beginning of April. And now we can buy another one I could get my eight team sig right here. If we dupe, I can do a craft as well. So I'm sitting, I'm sitting decent. That's good to see. And then also there's this returning user exclusive mission event secrets package. Not really worth it in my opinion, unless you're a new team and you want to get teams like diamond pack and stuff like that. That's cool. That's all for that. Now we can finally get in the power ranking tournament. All right, so the power ranking tournament is brand new, like I said. And so that power ranking feature got added back to ranked a few updates ago. And that essentially shows you where your team compares against other in that mode. And it also shows you the top teams as well in each server, both in the Asian and North American. And so the way this works 
is each server will have 64 teams with the 64 best power ranking teams against each other. And so I believe these are separate tournaments. So the Asian server will have its own and the North American will have its own. There'll be a winner for each. And essentially, they, it's like March Madness, but in this game. And so there are three power ranking tournaments a year. So there's three power ranking seasons a, a year. And at the end of each season, there will be a tournament. And so it, there, there's a bracket in this mode and it shows you everything. If you're not a top 64 team for that power ranking season, you don't participate in this. You're probably like, this isn't even worth it then for us. There actually is another part of this that does get you involved, but we'll get to that in a second. And so each tournament will last 12 days and each day. So on the odd days, there'll be preparation and then each even day is another round in the tournament. And so that'll go on and everything like that. And so at the end of the tournament, the winner there, they will have their profile displayed until the next season begins. And then also you can go back and see the previous champions. I think that's pretty cool. They call it their hall of fame. And then after that, now getting how it's important for us, I guess there's a pick em for it. So it's just like pick em for the regular season and then will be, but you have it for this as well. You can choose who you think is going to win each round and stuff like that. You can get accumulated successes. I think they have to be in a row. I have no clue though. I, I, they might not be, but there are certain rewards you can get for that as well. Um, there's no GI or anything like that, but I would still pick just, just for fun. Um, and then after that, the rules pretty much before the, um tournament starts they have to submit their team each team has to submit their lineup and everything and i don't think it can change once you do that before that first match can't change after that and so pretty much each round there will be five games that each player plays and you have to use all five starting pitchers obviously and whoever has more wins moves on to the next round and so they talk some more about how the rules work here if they have the same thing or whatever and there's run scored, everything getting into that. You guys can read in that. That's the main gist of this. Now, let's go ahead and jump into how this is important for those teams in the ranked tournament. So now we're going to get the rewards for all this. And then also shout out to all the teams that made this first power ranking tournament. Really cool to see you guys get this recognition and stuff. And I'm actually, this is going to be pretty interesting to see as well. And so you guys can see all these teams that made it. It's separate. You have Asia and North American. I believe there's 64 teams for each. I can recognize Fu from the Asian server as well. We got Helos down there. I'm not going to be able to shout out everybody, but I noticed a lot of these teams, especially on the North American side. We got a Chipper Tribe. I've seen him a lot. Woods Dodgers, great Dodgers deck. He had, he's, um, I believe, the one that runs the Dodger server that I'm in as well. Shout out to you. Lock Capone's in there. We got Immortal as well. Let me see who else. Jersey Tribe I've seen. Tribe Time, Hellcats Dodgers, um, Solo Strohs I've seen um just lots of great absurd i see in there as well and wohi if i pronounce that name wrong i apologize just some people that jump out i've seen some of these up as well diet cokes just cool to see you guys get that recognition best of luck to all you guys and so here is the schedule um the north american will go from may 3rd 12 a.m to may 15th 12 a.m east center time and then asia is right there may 2nd to may 14th this shows you guys how it works right there i don't really need to explain that you guys can pause it and look at that and so here are all the rewards. The winner gets a signature change ticket. So yes, there is a signature change ticket back in the game, but only for the winner of these tournaments. So it's in the game, but very only two people are going to get it per uh, power ranking season tournament. So it is what it is. Second place gets an exclusive signature player pack. Semifinals gets a signature team selective pitcher slash batter pack. Obviously, there's other stuff with it as well. Quarterfinals through round of 64 all get a team select signature pack as well. Shout out to you guys. Awesome rewards right there. The rich do get richer, but they put a lot of time and effort in this game. So shout, like I said, shout out to you guys. Lots of respect right there. Also, pick and rewards is how it works. Um, here are the rewards. Ultimate player pack for accumulated success. One, premium skill change ticket, diamond pack, league selective prime player pack, premium skill change ticket times two, and then signature player pack at six. I think it's accumulated. I don't think it's in a row. So I think you just have to get six right. I have no clue though, but there's only six. I think you can only choose one game or one set per match. I have no clue for sure. I need to look into a little bit more, but that's pretty much all in terms of the updates. I think I covered everything and I didn't want to go too detailed, but I also wanted to make sure everyone's on the same page. All right, that's going to do it for this video. I hope it helped you out and get a better understanding about everything. And if you have any questions or anything like that, or thoughts, put them in the comments below. And if you have not already liked and subscribe, I would highly appreciate that. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time.